Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another true crime video. If you're new here, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you do enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. 16-year-old Cassandra Bjorg from Gwenton County, Georgia was described as a problematic teen who had already had several run-ins with the police. When her mother felt that she was at her wit's end and needed help, Cassandra went to go live with her grandparents, 63-year-old Wendy and Randall Bjorg, in hopes that things would get better. But unfortunately, things would only end up getting much, much worse. Cassandra ended up running away all the time, and the police were called to the home multiple times, including by neighbors who were concerned for the grandparents' well-being. Cassandra had even been arrested for beating her grandfather so bad that she broke his ribs. I mean, what a little psycho. Things would end up taking a turn for the worse when Cassandra ended up dating 19-year-old convicted felon Johnny Ryder. Of course, the grandparents did not approve of this relationship and Cassandra ended up running away again. That's when her mother, Wendy, began making posts on social media to the community to look out for Cassandra and sent a text saying that she was going to bed and hoped that tomorrow would be a better day. That would be the last time anybody heard from Wendy or Randall. Family and friends grew concerned when over a week went by as this was not like them, especially Wendy, but the police were unable to do anything about it at this time because they were both adults. Over a week later, on April the 8th of 2017, the police were called to the home of Johnny Ryder's family because Cassandra and Johnny had attacked his sister and her boyfriend with pepper spray and a baseball bat. They then flew in Johnny's sister's car, leaving the car that they came in there. When the police arrived, they discovered that the car belonged to Cassandra's grandparents, Wendy and Randall Bjorg. The police ended up forcing their way into the home of the grandparents where they made the gruesome discovery. The couple had been bludgeoned to death, stabbed multiple times, and their throats were slashed. There was no sign of forced entry, and the police began searching for Cassandra and Johnny. They located the couple at a friend's house where they engaged in a standoff before the pair attempted to take their own lives by slashing up their wrists and their arms. But luckily, they were rushed to the hospital where they survived to face some justice. Cassandra admitted to everything, appearing extremely nonchalant and, quite frankly, pretty heartless in her interrogation video. She said that it was initially Johnny's idea to murder her grandparents and that she went along with it because she wanted to get away from her family. Her family who loved her and didn't want to see her go down a bad path. Cassandra and Johnny were planning to murder Cassandra's mother and Johnny's family as well in a sick fantasy to become a Bonnie and Clyde type couple. Thank God they were arrested because I truly believe that they would have carried out this fantasy. Of course, the two ended up pointing the finger at each other, which we see all the time in cases like these ones. But both Cassandra and Johnny ended up pleading guilty and were sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after having served 60 years. The two had also appeared to be extremely emotionless in court. But as always, I want to hear all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you guys think of this case? You know, I always love to hear everything that you have to say. And thank you guys so much for clicking on this video today. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos just like this one. I hope you guys take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys in my next video.